you guys are not going to eat any of the bakery I stuff I brought you? I got you your favorite Oreo cheesecake. I'm going to take that home with me. Right. Oh, that's good. And then I forgot what the, I don't remember what else I got. I think something Reese is something Funfetti. Looks real good. I feel like Animal just appreciates any dessert, honestly. <laughs> I'm a big dessert guy. Yeah. Love dessert. I feel like I could say any dessert name and you'd be like, yeah, really underrated. <laughs> like, no matter, anything <laughs> yeah, from well, like you know what Funfetti to like raspberry banana. Dessert as a whole is kind of just underrated. I, I'm a firm believer, not even a believer, more of a, is it okay to have dessert after every meal? It's your body allows you to do it. Like, you know, I, I was, we, we discussed the dessert bagel on an episode of Animal's House once. Uh, you know, you get your regular bagel or your bacon, egg and cheese, whatever it be. And then you get a, uh, a cannoli. bagel with cream cheese and jelly. You're like a French toast bagel with cream cheese and jelly as a dessert bagel. Eat it after. It's interesting. It's just delicious. You're saying after breakfast, lunch, dinner, any meal at any time. You're saying after, after every meal of the day, you should be allowed to have a, a, a dessert like a de- version. I mean, you're allowed to. Well, I mean, you're allowed no to. No one's stopping. No one's stopping dessert, dessert, dessert version. You. Whatever you eat, it has to be dessert. What, what if you eat pasta? What's a dessert pasta? Oh, dude, you get like a bunch of Twizzlers pull and peel and you rip them apart, put it on a oh, plate. Oh, you mean like ha- just make like it look sp- like... Uh, well, yeah. no, I, I was going off of you thinking that. I'm saying, like, breakfast, you'd have a breakfast type of a dessert, like... like a Breakfast is, like, almost cannoli. desserty in itself. Depends on what you... If you're going, like, French toast, yeah, but then you want, like, French toast with cinnamon sugar and, on top of it, and that gives it a whole different dessert feel. Okay. Yeah. Sir. Anyways, also, eat your fucking dessert. Well, you know, it's not the time. Have you eaten anything yet today? Uh, I had a uh, coffee. I'm going to eat later. Actually, let's start the show right away with the guy who's in first place, Top Dog. You may remember me from last season as the uh, wearing a bag on my head in last place. Well, guess what? I'm the Top Dog now, and this box came for me. It says for Top Dogs only, so that means I'm the only person in this room that can open it. Animal, before you go on, that battery just died. No, it's not possible. It's plugged in. I just heard it. Hold on. Let's investigate. That's got to be the worst omen for the rest of his year. Yeah. That's <laughs> actually incredible <laughs> timing of that. So we didn't even have to cut Animal out to tell him to stop doing what he was doing because fate and destiny did it for us. Well, the actually, camera just cut out mi- as Animal's about to put that on. Before I actually open the box and reveal what's inside, what I can do here is I have these little totems that I picked up. Uh, I just was doing some weird shit, and I saw them in a store. So here, this is... um. This is a chicken totem. I give this chicken totem to Snacks because he only talks shit when he's in a comfortable place to do it. He doesn't talk shit before, and that makes him a chicken. This is a cow. Wait till you see what I say today. This is a cow. I give this cow to Nick because Nick is literally milking every ounce out of his team right now and pulling <laughs> out wins. Let's go. So Nick gets this cow. and uh, huge. I would say this is more of a calf than a cow. It's a cow. It. This is a dog. It is the top dog. <laughs> That's why I will you call this a cow. It's a cow, it's kind of a bull, but it's a cow. It has it's, horns. It looks more like an overcooked it's piece a, of chicken. It's a bull. And this is the top dog. Therefore, I get this. So that's pretty simple. We figure that out. I can't believe you're doing this in week seven. Uh, that's what I said. It's, emba- <laughs> it's embarrassing. We didn't even start the bag until like week it's eleven. It's embarrassing. Listen, let me let me soak it in. Plus, I didn't send this. This someone sent this to me. It's for top dogs only. I just I, I'm the only one that's able to get it. Oh, wonder- new socks! Wow, and they're champion socks. Is that symbolism? Is that foreshadowing? I don't know. That's pretty cool. I hope the camera cuts out again. I can't Whoa! wait to use this later on in the season. Whoa, guys! We got gray sweatpants. It's gray sweatpants season. You know what that is? I guess when your dick is swinging and you're winning fantasy games, someone wants to give you gray sweatpants. That's weird. And, uh, ooh, 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 a tasty J. Mmm, mmm. Structure. <laughs> so we need structure. Process. Animal said he wanted this show to be more structured. <laughs> and this is what we get. Oh, a tasty J. All right, and there's one more thing in here, I think. Jesus fucking Christ. Whoa! The world's best tasting gourmet gummies? Oh. Or maybe the world's best fancy player? You, I want to see it. You can see. Don't fucking oh, even think fuck. about opening it or touching them. Yeah, man. Wow. 
Thank you to whoever sent me this or, or sent it to the top dog. Obviously, not me. They just happened to. Yeah, Excuse I'm me, a, sir. I'm not a gummy guy, sir. You uh, you don't have you don't have clearance for that. You're not a top dog. Hmm. Hmm. You're lucky I can't open these. Give it to me. Hmm. They don't have like a snacks. What a hit. No, I'm good. Well, you can't have any because you're not a top dog. I'm the champion. I do whatever Ugh. the fuck I want. All right, you guys can carry on with the show. I've done my part. I wonder how many players in E-Town Get Down have been the top dog this year at one point or another. Like five. I'm pretty sure I was after week one. I was one. Yeah, but how many are enjoying it? That's the real question. Because No, because we've been there before. Yeah, I guess act like you've been there before, huh? <laughs> Yeah. Well, I haven't recently. You're going to get so. the memo? You know what? I understand it's Halloween and you're a fucking clown, so happy <laughs> Halloween. What are you guys yeah. doing for Halloween, by the way? Saturday, I have an engagement party. Is that where we are? We're, that, we're at that age. I have no desire. Where we just go? <laughs> yeah, I have no desire. Like, probably not. I'm just not answering the door. Yeah, I was. I didn't mean like what's your situation for <laughs> trick-or-treaters. <laughs> <I'm not> like, <laughs> no, nobody trick-or-treats anymore anyway. It's like embarrassing. That's facts. Is it? I mean, I should go trick at or our treat. age, yeah. No. I mean, I don't see anybody around town trick or treating at all, ever. <laughs> I honestly feel like low key, trick or treating might be in at least in the city. If I went over to like the East Village, if I went trick or treating, that would be like the premier pickup situation. You'd be getting like drugs though and shit. Like you're not getting candy. Dub. Well, yeah, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm just I just saying, mean like, like you know the, at the I'd entire the candy. The entire population of the East Village is just like hot twenty two to twenty nine year olds. See, just went around and just like knocked on their door. It's like a reason to be able to knock on their door. <laughs> Rather than go to the dog park, you just trick or treat at their apartment. Yeah, but it's not like a porno where they're like, you're like trick or treat. And they're like, oh, like come in. Like the candy's in the kitchen. I guess. But I'm trying. Like, what are you doing, guy? I'm trying to form relationships. They're going to be very nervous, actually. Especially. What were you going to say? What, do you mean? what are you wearing? What if I take a dog with me and like I dress a dog up? It's a different story. Dogs are just a ticket. Ticket to. Ticket to what? Boontown. <laughs> Sir. I wish job. Benny could make it more than like two seconds of walking. <coughs> just wait till you got to start picking them up. I we already do. Okay, I meant like oh, I meant uh, sorry, I, I jumped the gun there. My mom used to take Skippy for walks and call me when she was up the block and be like, "Can you pick us up?" Like, yeah, I had to take I, my car. Okay, so it's not it's not that. It's oh, not, just wait on it. Yeah. Not that extreme yet, but I've had to pick up Anthony numerous times. <laughs> were, were, were you picking up Anthony or the dog? Yeah, both. <laughs> <laughs> what were you gonna say? You said my name. I forgot it. Smoke more weed, animal. Seriously. <laughs> Smoke more weed. Um, <laughs> all right. What's cracking? Yeah. <laughs> I was going to do it before you said it. Big dogs. Oh. Welcome, Bite, to the channel. Welcome, Bite, to the Contaminated Dungeon. Two weeks in a so row. I was just going to say, two weeks in a row. Two wow. weeks in a row. And uh, they're going to be coming to the other HQ <sighs> Thursday night. Well, they don't care. Thursday night football. They're going to see this Friday. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> they don't care. We live streamed last night. And it was probably <laughs> terrible. Thank you for joining us if you did. Um, was that? Uh, yeah. What the fuck was that? No, no, no. Uh, Structure, please. Structure. 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 Keep in your fucking pants. Uh, so the E-Town Get Down is heating up. The Wide shit open. talking Wide is, open. is all time high. The records are near and dear to each other right now. There's no real separation no. Um, from the top down to the bottom. Because Animal is at the top, and the person who is in 10th and last place has more points than Animal. <laughs> it's crazy. Let's let's be clear here. Let's clarify here. The points are, yes, he has 1,023 points, and I have 1,015. So, yeah. So, let me know who has more. Well, yeah, he has more, but you're making it seem like... It's basic it's, geometry. You're making that's it seem not like geometry. it's like I have like 850 points, and I'm in first place. That's not, not, the, that's not the case here. I'm just letting My them team know... My putting up regular numbers. Regular I'm just letting them know the separation between the top dog... And the bottom dog are the same. No well, separation. That's, that's you're, the there's no problems. separation. You're just lucky. No, this. Well, this. Yeah, you're right. I am because this is fantasy football, and literally half the game is luck. That's it. Seventy five percent. Maybe more. Seventy five percent. Maybe more. Honestly, this guy literally was drafting uh, retired Giants players, and he won. And I think that's honestly there's something to that strategy. My other uh, league, Mark, got so drunk he tried to draft like Nick Chubb in the sixth round, and it was like. Dude, is he, in been, is he in first place? He's in first place. He's killing everyone. Yeah. See? Absolutely. He's got Cooper Cup. I started this revolution. I think I'm going to branch off on my own and just yeah, do guys, drunken ever, fantasy football. If you ever have a really bad year in fantasy, uh, next year, just get blackout drunk <laughs> and do draft and yeah. see what happens. Because honestly, get if, you can't, if you're already bad, it can't get that much worse. And it sucks because 
I like my team this year. It's you now it's right now it's very banged up. But I I wasn't as ossified as I was last year, and now I'm in fifth. And now you're slipping. That's what happens. Snack it's the injury bug. Slipping. Got the injury bug. It's gonna oh. be the same thing as last year. They're gonna come back at the right time. I'm gonna get hot. Go off. I don't know. You'll see. Trust me. All right. So let's let's speaking of hot. Next team, pretty hot right now. Really? I think so. What, yeah. You, would you win one in a row? Yeah. I mean. <laughs> Well, here, here's the thing. Wait, won one in a row wait we actually had a funny, uh, funny thing happen. I realized on Sleeper, the default setting when you create a new league is it has fumbles as minus one, fumbles lost as minus two. Now, I mean, most leagues just play if you lose a fumble, it's minus two, but no one actually gets penalized for just fumbling the ball mm-hmm. if their team picks it back up. We had it set to fumbles minus one, and someone noticed it this week. So you have I to leave it right. So I no. We changed it. I cha- Did we go back? Did and you look not see that impacted cha- any games, bro? Have you been paying attention to anything that's happening in the league for the last forty eight hours? No, d- no. I'm the top dog. I don't care about what's going on below. He doesn't me. pay well, attention to anything. Well, you just are asking, so obviously you do care. Well, now this I'm morning, curious. This, this morning, I was, I was like so pissed. You texted this morning, hey, is two thirty good? I was like, yeah, that's that's fine. Same. I was two thirty four. So glad. And he goes, so two thirty. I woke up. You woke with the text right in front of you. I'm just clarifying. Your level of privilege right now is... <laughs> just, just clarifying. It's embarrassing. Listen, you guys need to fuck... You answer to me right now. Nah, see, I'm, see, about, I'm just, about to walk out. So am I. Because I'm the fucking champion. I should be making any rule. You have done nothing. Not a thing. There is nothing you have done. Eric has more points than you. He's in last place. <laughs> it's just the way... It, if you are celebrating goes. being the top dog after seven weeks of fantasy football... With no championships in this league after like six years, there's something wrong with you. You're like a Mets fan. Oh my god, yeah. you are like a Mets fan. Listen, you're the Mets. You're, the, you're the New York Mets of the fantasy football world. Don't focus on me, guys. I get it. You want to talk about the top dog? Don't focus on me. Let's talk. About Anyways, me. so we. I'm not concerned about you. So we about switched Joe. the fumbles from z- uh, from negative one to zero. And in Sleeper, there's a commissioner settings where it says recalculate scores. So it recalculated all, all the scores. First thing I did was look at the records. Nothing changed. And I was like, okay, cool. Everything's cool because that league would have fucking rioted if something changed. <laughs> oh, yeah. It would have burnt down. Oh, yeah. It would have burnt down if something changed. Um, I went back and looked at the scores, though. Me and one changes game ended up being like a 1.2 point game. So the Beasley score, oh, the Beasley I would have ended up winning. Oh, wow. yeah. Or if the two point conversion didn't happen, we would have won. Yeah. The game I played against Larry, where I won on Monday Night Football, ended up being a 0.1 win for me. Oh, my God. Uh, super close. And the same thing actually happened in the New York City League. So I had to change it, and someone's win and loss did actually. Oh, oh that's terrible. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so be fun. careful. That's out there. fun. Yeah, it was pretty crazy going back and looking back. Exhilarating. At every wow, score. sleeper almost took out the whole league. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that could have been it. Everyone went on a strike after that. I I, I want to. Can you like tweet that out later? I want to know if that's happened to anybody, anybody else. Like what just happened in the NYC league? It had to have because I'm sure. Yeah, but because I if it happened for like two at, different at redraft point, leagues for me, that has to be their default setting. I almost feel like at this point you'd have to just leave it, let it ride for the rest of the year because if it's going to impact something and like, well, it just is. It's supposed to be what the rule is. It wouldn't. It doesn't actually change anything. It just makes well, it, it what it was. If it changes like records, you're saying if it changes the record, yeah, I got yeah, you. Yeah, if it changes I mean. records, I feel like you'd have to wait till next year. Right, but like you wouldn't have the record. You shouldn't have that record. Yeah, but you shouldn't have messed up. The <gasps> settings. Like it's not. The, it's not like. It's not like. You go back and being like, oh, I wanted this player on the free agent wire, but I like forgot to pick him up. Can you put him into my line? It's not like cheating changing. It's just like it, what, it's what it should have been. If it automatically recalc- recalculates the score for you, I don't think it matters. That makes sense. Yeah, I get both sides of the spectrum. I know math is in either of your strong parts. But I just think it's baloney. I'm good at math. Play with the rules that are given. That's it. Um, or that right. were voted upon. So your team, pretty hot. You got to win. <laughs> got to win. Um, let gotta me look win. at my lineup because I, I have some and, thoughts on this. And obviously... You know, like, you know, Joe Mixon, that touchdown saved his entire day. And, uh... You know what's really funny about some games, though? Like, you're in the middle of a really tight game, and then when you look at the final score, like, I ended up beating Joe by, like, 35 or 40. Well, his team was just... Okay, like, not the point. I was gonna say, like, you could look back at it and be like, oh, I could have not had... I could have benched Joe Mixon. I could have benched, like, three of my players and still have won that game. Yeah. It makes no sense when you look back at it. Yeah, but Joe Mixon fucking stinks. Uh, you know what I could do right now? I could do live on air which I should have probably done a long time ago. Drop Joe Mixon. He's next. Brandon Ayuk. Oh, wait, what the fuck? Oh, fuck. Well. Got to wait till tomorrow? Uh, I have, I, I put in some waiver claims, and Ayuk is the guy I'm dropping yeah. for him, so it's like. You what know, a disaster he is. Blah, 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 yeah. yeah, so. Uh, can't you just drop him and they cancel the claims? Come on, sleeper. Yeah, like, you got to be it's on top like, of that These are basic shit. fixes. 
Um, yeah, so Brandon Ayuk getting the fuck dropped. I can drop De- Devonta Freeman, too, because they're on a bottom. Oh, I want him. <clears throat> Go fucking right ahead. Uh, all right, sorry. Let me look at my Once matchup. a giant, always a giant. So Brady was good. Chase Edmonds stinks. Joe Mixon stinks. Godwin had a good game because Antonio Brown was out, obviously. Hawkinson was fine. Freeman got in for the touchdown. Gibson stinks. I'll tell you what. Carson Wentz this has looked good. Yeah. That offense is heating up. Won't, yeah, baby. Won't last. And I will, say, I will say, <laughs> I've I've been incredible at streaming defenses. I don't think I've had a defense this year that scored less than like 13 points. I finally there. gave up on the Broncos. and I'm really good. And that, yeah, can you help me with that? Because I fucking Super suck. simple formula. I know you've tweeted about it. It's, play a defense that's at home that's yeah. favored yeah. by a touchdown. Like, yeah. it works every fucking time. Yeah. I'm going to start doing that because, uh, well, I took the, the Patriots defense last week, and that worked out fine. Against the Jets. Yeah, so Joe's team, a lot of Joe's team was on bye, which was... Didn't the Jets get, like, a minus 11 on defense or something like that? Minus three. Oh. Some, I, I saw I somebody tweet out, like, minus 11. Well, it depends what league you're... Like, yeah. one chain started the Jets defense for some fucking reason and uh, scored minus three. But That's they allowed 54 insane. fucking That's points. That's insane. Really bad. It should be a lot more than minus three. If you Joe's bench. Look at Joe's bench this week. Big Ben, James Robinson, Najee Harris, Antonio Brown, CeeDee Lamb, and Grant. Yeah, I mean, he never stood a chance. Even with that, Animal, you said last episode, looking at the lineups, I didn't stand a chance. You said that I see no way that you pull off. Man, you're no, I was helping you out, dude. I needed Joe to lose. I see, I see no way that you pull off. Yeah, this it's one. called the RJ, baby. That's the sharp play. Snacks knows all about it. I learned it from him. Thank you, That's sir. That's a classic RJ because I needed Joe to lose that game. You winning does nothing for, like, you. You're still screwed. I'm Joe fine. losing helps me. What do you mean? I'm fucking one game behind you. No. Not true. Yeah, technically. Snacks. I mean, I you, you got... Second place is in four and three. I'm three and four. I, I understand. I'm five and two. No one's worried about it. Oh, yeah. I was just kind of throwing that out into the air. Not not actually directed at you. (laughs) Who are you? Unless it it was directed at you. I think it was because. No, it was at Snacks. uh, Maybe, but he's. uh, I'm one game behind you. So am I. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. You. Um, All right. So, yeah, Nick, big win for you. Huge win. Every game. Big win for me, too, because I needed that. Let's move on to my matchup now from last week. That was a point where I was actually a little nervous. I was a little nervous, but because I was waiting for, like, all right. When is Mahomes going to... Oh, yeah, he did nothing. When is Mahomes going to come back and go off? He had garbage time for three quarters and still didn't do shit. And I was like, that was the whole time. I was sitting there when he was like at like three and like seven points. I was like, oh, this isn't going to like last. He's still going to finish with like 20. Can we talk about the running backs in this matchup? Melvin Gordon, Khalil Herbert, Mark Ingram, and Kenyon Drake. Not great. Well, hey, Kenyon Drake and Khalil Herbert. I mean, your, your guys did well, but like... Just oh. <laughs> on the surface. It's yeah, you put them down and write them, write them down on a piece of paper. Yeah. It's not desirable. I mean, at least you have Zeke and Nick Chubb. I almost had to cut Clyde from Eric's team. Yeah, my biggest concern right now is my quarterbacks because Sam Darnold is an atrocity and, uh, and Jared Goff is not great. And Baker's hurt. And Baker Mayfield is hurt. So, like, unless Oh, Baker there was a reason back, why you asked about Jimmy G. Oh, yeah. So, who wants yeah. Jimmy G? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I wasn't Do you like, want to make that trade right now live on air? Uh, honestly, is Trey Lance still hurt? Yeah. Yeah, he's I done think. for the year. I don't know. <laughs> I don't trust the word your dumb ass says. Uh, well, I, yeah. Uh, let me see. I actually think I might just do that because I have a claim of dropping Madison. And I'm kidding. I was going to hold on to that scumbag as long as possible. You definitely have a claim for I, I have no claims in yet. So this is a move we were going to make. Snacks, uh, uh, Snacks needs a quarterback. Desperately. And I, and I have Daniel uh, I have <laughs> Daniel fucking Cook. Dalvin Cook. So he can give me Madison because he's not doing anything for him, and I can give him a fucking shitty quarterback. It's, in, in, it's a good trade. It's, it's a, a good trade. It's a good, it's trade, a good trade for both, for both parties. parties. Scott? That's, that's what I look for. Scott? This trade's for you. It's a good yeah, trade for both parties. I respect parties. that trade. I think it's a fair trade. I um, Jimmy G. so So you guys bad. can do he's that, so whatever. Bad. We're over that. Back to my team. <laughs> he's so yeah, he's fucking garbage. He's Back so to my bad. team. Uh, I play the, the, the Jamar Chase clip. Play the, play the clip. You call yourself a sharp if you made that fucking pick, you dumb motherfucker. Let me ask you a question. Was it a sharp pick? No. You didn't want it, but he felt you. <laughs> exactly. And when you're a sharp, you see that and you take advantage. Oh, you see value? And you, you Here's an idea. I swing that fucking rig over here. Here's the deal. You, the audience, get to decide. Jamar Chase in the ninth round? 
Of a half PPR, 10 team, a 10 team makes the ninth round not sound as good. Scratch cuts to cut the 10 team part. In a fantasy football league, in the ninth round, I got Jamar Chase, possible wide receiver one on his team, possible wide receiver two on my team. I wonder if Ray Rice was here about That's a sharp pick. You decide. Is that a sharp pick? You let me know in the comments below. And if for the answers, I want you to write sharp, and then if you disagree, you write fuck snacks. <laughs> Snacks? What's up? Idiot. What did I say? You I, said it wasn't a sharp pick. It's not. Jamar Chase in the ninth round wasn't a sharp pick. <laughs> I what? literally shit on every single draft pick of that. I just night. want to know if if <laughs> if uh thirty point uh one zero it's points good ball is player. good. It's good ball is that player. Good? Eight for ten, two hundred one yards and a touchdown. It's not as good as uh Fine. pretty good. It's not bad. Pretty good. Not as good as thirty two point six, but well here's the deal. Um was taking Robert pick. taking Robert Woods over Cooper Cup wasn't sure. How do we feel about Jamar Chase going forward? Does, does he keep this up? Probably, yeah. Yeah. yeah he's like, nasty. He looks really good. Him and Joe nasty. Burrow are just like unbelievable. Yeah. It's fun. Why don't you play the clip when it would ask uh what receiver you want on the Bengals and I was the only one that said Jamar Chase. Well, I was, at one point I said I was off Jamar Chase. Yeah. Yeah, you were a big Higgins guy all summer. Yeah. Love yeah. Higgins. I still love Higgins. He's just not getting the he was hurt a little bit. He's just not getting the, the, the just, deep targets. Yeah. He's a possession guy now. Still love Higgins. He's just not being doing good. <laughs> well, here's the thing. I fucking mind fucked everybody. Right before the draft, I said, I don't want Jamar Chase. I said, I'm off Jamar Chase. I, say, I didn't even think I said I put him off my board. And then, bam, ninth round, Jamar that's, Chase. That's why no one took him. Well, yeah. I actually kind of want to look at the board right now. Take the draft, it's it's terrible to, when you look back. Hey, I don't want to look at my picks. I yeah, just want to it's look rough. At, it's at rough. The draft board. Um, Robert are you, Woods. Are you gonna, still my wide receivers make me nervous too? I got a what snacks? No, I was gonna ask him a question, but it that's for like few, uh, when you look into the matchup. It's my wide receivers. Like it's not I don't about know how long they hold up. Robert Woods, DJ Moore don't really do enough each week. Are you concerned about Sam Darnold? Like, is he even gonna start? Uh, they say he's gonna start. I just don't know if I'm gonna. Coaches start. coaches say a lot of things. I might start like a. Fucking wide receiver. Or, like, I might, like, if I have Nick Chubb and I have Nick Chubb and Zeke back, I might start, like, Khalil Herbert there. Yeah. You could Instead start Herbert if, if Montgomery keeps missing time. Like, Herbert's fine. Yeah. Well, Herbert I'm saying, like, probably... a super flex over Darnold. Um, yeah. Darnold's so bad, and he's, like, chance of getting pulled. Yeah, it's a rough scene. Like, he's got three points. He literally had three points last week you going into, like, Taylor? the last quarter. Um, No. I'll pass on that. <laughs> no. He was really good in the first game. Like, Jared Goff played, like, the game of his, his, oh. game of his life yesterday. Oh. Not really. Game of the year for him. <sighs> so, two interceptions and 13 <sighs> points. Like, it's terrible. It's yeah. Start he, it's like, first p- pass of the game was, like, a 75-yard touchdown to Swift, and yeah. then he ends up with 11 points. <laughs> <It's> terrible. <laughs> He's so bad. I don't get it. So, uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, snacks. Let's, let's see what happened to you last week. Brutal. You got, f- I mean, it came out to be really, really close. You know what pisses me off in, the, in hindsight? Is James Conner, Conner scoring that bullshit touchdown like two minutes left? Well, I think it. If anything, we could. We well, that's could not why I lost. I lost. Blame it I on lost Justin because Fields. Justin Fields and well, not even that too. Fucking my second round pick, Aaron Jones, got me six point four points. Yeah, it's not ideal. Yeah, what the fuck was that game? Uh, they, which is terrible. He didn't get a touchdown. I mean, he, he gets get he gets six lot. carries. Of anything really? Six yeah, carries. I think they probably just went into that, and they're like, Washington secondary is so I, I was so expe- tragic. I was expecting the Panthers to like beat the shit out of the Giants. Injury rattled offense didn't happen. Yes, yeah, Julio uh, sucks. Steen had like a bunch of bullshit, like Mac Jones going for twenty five. Yeah, that kills. Christian Kirk, Evan Ingram getting Evan Ingram, 10. Yeah, ridiculous. It's ridiculous. AJ yeah, we Brown laughed at this lineup. Yeah, I mean it's a, it, it's Terrible. a laughable fucking lineup. It is. He beat you with Robbie Anderson. Crazy. That's crazy. Like three for nine. You got, you got to play him without Herbert and Eckler. And, and lose. Yeah, it's tough. And, and and my favorite part is Cup and Evans getting me like 70 points combined. Well, that's what I was going to say. You got. I'm looking at your wide receivers and, and saying that you lost. You, <laughs> yeah, Cup go for 32. Mike Evans went for 28. Crazy. But then like the rest of your team, just no one even. Like, yeah. Like, well, Gaskin had a nice game. Gaskin points. had a nice game. Which yeah. so pleasantly surprised. Well, Gaskin's actually Gaskin going to be a nice little. He has, yeah, he's, he's going to be a good. nice little piece for you because because uh, Malcolm Brown's finally out. He's yeah, got, thank he's God. Got a nice schedule to end the year. Yep. So Gaskin's going to be like okay for you there. I'm That's fine. Tough. That was the game of George's life. Yeah. That's it. He put up like 140 against me too, but that was the week that Herbert and Eckler combined for like 80 fucking points. Yeah, I mean, I'm just I'm I'm hurt right now. Wilson Barkley out is really tough. And then Keenan Allen's on a bye. Who's you know what that sounds fine. like Dalton Schultz sounds like he's slipping. Yeah, 
Sounds like you're wait, slipping. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Slipping. Hold on, hold on. Snacks keeps on slipping. Slipping, slipping. slipping. This, this is what Down fueled me last year. Keep it coming. What? Snacks. You guys said the same exact slipping, thing last year slipping, when we were sitting at the table, how, how much I was slipping, and then I won a championship. So he please. He loves whole wheat. <laughs> no, I don't. Whole wheat's disgusting. So is your team. I want more of it. All right, Propel so... Propel me uh, to a championship. Oh, quick note. Uh, Stevie, you know what it is? Your team is, is so... It looks so good in the middle. Like, it's like the cream filling is so good, but it's almost like... Uh, it's like you took a double stuffed Oreo and put sandpaper as the two cookies sandwiches. You want to make a trade? No. Mike Evans? Like your quarterback situation yeah. and your flexes even. What do you... Uh, I mean, you know, I didn't predict Russell to get hurt. What do you want for yeah. Mike Evans? I'll give you a DJ Moore and Sam Darnold. No. It gives you a quarterback and a wide receiver. I don't want a quarterback do just to have a quarterback. Do do for Jim? No, I want a wide receiver. James G? Oh, I got plenty. We'll talk after. We'll talk later. Maybe I'll try and trade cut right now. Uh, Stevie One Chain is in uh, third place right now currently. Just wanted to throw that out there let everyone know. Congrats to him. One Chain, <laughs> he did have a big, huge fucking win. One hundred, a, a big 160 burger. Uh, yeah, I thought I was going to have the most you know points would make this me, week. You know what would make me... Nothing would make me happier if... Jalen Hurts ends up getting benched for Gardner Minshew. I don't know if you guys saw those reports, but that would be huge. But they were saying like Gardner, Gardner Minshew's on the Eagles, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. They were like, there's a good chance Gardner Minshew like ends up getting. So, so being being a great fantasy quarterback doesn't actually correlate to being a quarterback that a team wants to play under. That's, yeah, I got and that you. would make me super happy only because I've been trying to trade for Jalen Hurts all week, and he said, "If you want a Ferrari, you need to trade me a Ferrari." <laughs> he texted, That's why he keeps putting Ferraris in the fucking. He giving. texted me today about Hurts, and I said, "Yeah, I'm interested." And then he offered well, me like, "Yeah, well, I've been I've been asking him for weeks," and he goes, "Well, I'm going to see what I can uh, I'm going to see what I can get around the league," and that was like three four weeks ago. I'm like, "You're not you're just sitting on a third quarterback," and yeah. I'll give you like a running back too. That's like solid. I'll give you like Mixon and somebody else. For Hertz. And it's like, yeah, you're getting rid of Hertz. You're probably losing, but like, you still have Dak and fucking yep. Josh Allen. So why it's not like, get solidify your you RB2. Right. Yeah. You like, why not put guys in your lineup as opposed to just sitting a third quarterback on the bench? Yeah. I don't, know. I don't mind having the depth. The only problem is you got to worry about if the depth is still going to be a starter. Can we wait? Can we talk about Shane right now slipping a little bit too? Grit for, for a few reasons, not just like a, his team, but like what he's been doing. One, yeah, he he oh, drops Dear, well, he drops Dearness Johnson. Yeah. Like he picks Dearness Johnson up on Sunday morning last week. Then Kareem Hunt gets hurt, and yeah. then he drops Dearness <laughs> Johnson on like Tuesday when Dearness <laughs> Johnson was the number one waiver wire pickup of the week. That does make sense. It makes no fucking sense in a week where he needed players to fill in on it's his a roster. This is very gritty decision. <laughs> a lot of grit went into that. And then one chains picks him up and he goes for twenty four for his team. Yeah. And then grit doesn't start a fucking tight end this week. <laughs> When he, it's not like he, he's not, you know, we had Sunday free agent fucking wa uh, waiver open. Like he could have just picked yeah. somebody up. Yeah. So I'm not sure what he's doing. Has he been in like fucking, he's a guy who'd go to like Denver for two weeks. I know without like service. <laughs> no, shit, he's, like, he's been around. That's he's, very he's odd. He's been around. Just slipping. Yeah. Listen, fantasy, it's tough. And you know what? Karma comes back around because this week he's got Waller on a bye against me and he's got Devontae Adams. COVID clapped got up. To, he got uh, clapped up. <laughs> Don't celebrate say, yet. Yeah, when you no, have Derrick Henry and you're in like going for like a lot of points yeah. and you're losing games, it's tough. Yeah. It does a lot of damage. You know a lot about that. It it hurts. <laughs> it hurts. You had Derrick Henry last year. I'll tell you what crazy. though, dude. The the pickup Shit, him drafting Mike Davis was terrible, but he got Cordero Patterson. And I think Cordero Patterson like has the potential to be a league winner second half of the year. Oh dude, I He's had about him. to take over the backfield. I picked him up in this league and then dropped him. Good for you. Sharp. Yeah. I picked him up the week before he was a thing. And then uh Dropped him the week he became a thing. It was sick. Was I mean, week he had like three touchdowns. Derrick Henry had a had a mediocre game. I mean, yeah, one. He had like fucking thirty five touches. <laughs> he had like ninety yards. <laughs> mediocre game. Yeah, he's gonna go absolute. He's gonna go off nuclear. Yeah, right now. Next week is gonna be nuts. I like guess Indy, Indy, fucking dude. I'm so gonna fun. kill them. I know. He's gonna have one hundred eighty five. He doesn't have two. He doesn't have two bad games in a row. No, it doesn't happen. And no. like that's like a really good game to some running backs too. All right, so let's go. You and he's matches. starting Mike Davis and Cordell Pound. Like, he didn't have to. But anyway. Yeah, like, I, I don't know what he's actually doing. It's bad. Um, so right. I guess I guess we can just touch on that matchup because that's next yeah, week's you, matchup. Yeah, you and Grit. Me and, me and Shano, as, as we've said, he's also, him and Snacks are holding hands down the slide together. Uh, he has Devontae Adams on COVID. Is, is it 100% confirmed Adams is going to miss uh, Thursday? No? Most likely. I think it is, yeah. I think, I think he's going to miss Thursday. Uh, Darren Waller's on a bye, so that's big for me. 
He does not currently have a backup tight end, and his best flex option right now would be between Mike Davis, Alex Collins. Actually, I think Alex Collins might be a pretty good play this week against Jacksonville. Uh, mm. But regardless, I'm getting Dalvin Cook back. I do have uh, no one really on by, actually. I like your chances this week. Yeah, I, I like my lineup, too. I do. I just uh, – Derek Henry's like the and, – and Joe Burrow against the Jets. It could be ugly. I don't think that's going to get ugly. It's going to get ugly. I don't. I don't think so. It's going to get ugly. Why? Well, I, I, I'm sorry. But why? Why? What has shown you <laughs> anything from the Jets to say that it won't be ugly? Well, no, no, no. I think like because I, I have Mixon. I think Mixon's going. This is going to be like a 30 carry game for oh. Mixon. I think Burrow might attempt 25 passes. That's and what they're going to be like. Got 14 it. touchdowns. <laughs> I mean, probably yeah. very well could be. Trust me, it's going to be ugly. Joe to Burrow. Mixon, though. What did he do last week? Fantasy wise, 30, 30 points. Well, this is his career high. We can't be like, oh, what he did last week was what he does every week. That was, yeah, that was his Baltimore. best game of all time. Clearly better. Than Baltimore's a terrible pass defense. Plus, yeah. they put up offensive points, so you have to score against them. The right, Jets. Well, I still think they just have fucking Joe Flacco go as their quarterback. Over under twenty four point two five points. Under for Joe Burrow. Yeah. Under. I would go over twenty three yeah. and a half. I'm gonna go. Over. But I'd also say Joe Mixon probably has like seventeen or eighteen. Maybe. So for that game, I feel fine about it. Uh, Cook against Dallas feels good. I honestly think my, like, secondary wide receivers are going to, uh, like, Claypool, I think, is going to have a big week against Cleveland. Carson Wentz gets Tennessee, which is nice. Regardless, though, it's like, he still has, like, Allen Robinson in his starting lineup. Yeah, it and sucks. Allen Robinson is so droppable. Yeah, you, I, just, I which dropped is him, yeah. insane. Yeah. What if, I mean, Crazy. it's not his fault. No. Clearly. I mean, it could be. Maybe he's dogging no, it's, it. No, it's, it's definitely Justin Fields is really bad. Well, yeah, we didn't do anything with Andy Dalton. Um, yeah, I feel relatively good about the matchup, I mean, though. Granted, Andy Dalton's not any good either, yeah. but Allen Robinson was putting up points with, like, Blaine Gabbert and Mitch Trubisky. Dude, Mitch Trubisky underrated. Still like him. Give him. Bring him into the Broncos right now. I'll start Mitch Trubisky right now in the Broncos. That'll save it. I would start Mitch Trubisky right now. I'm telling you. He's going to have a comeback. <laughs> I yeah. believe in Mitch. Do you? I do. Yeah? I think he's very, uh, he got a bad rap. Well, because he sucked. Nah. Yeah, bad players tend to get bad reps. Nah, it's bad coaching. Bad Do, coaching. So what? So Matt Nagy like brings Trubisky to life, and then just all of a sudden it was bad coaching. Yeah, I it love the narrative it wasn't that Mitch go around Trubisky. fantasy Twitter, just like where they could throw the blame at. Well, for fantasy, it's, I it's, like Mitch a lot. Well, if someone, oh, well, yeah, I mean, no, I'm just an, saying, he's if an anyone, he's an athlete. If anyone likes a player, like the way that they blame people in the organizations, well, yeah, are so there's always good. a reason. It's like someone who loves Justin Fields at this point has gone down every rabbit hole of like. Matt Nagy, Bill Lazor, Allen Robinson <laughs> not getting separation. It starts with the GM. It's just like every fucking yeah. possible excuse you can get is like what gets thrown on to players that people like. Dan Orlovsky looks like an idiot too, by the way. So I wanted to bring that up. Anyone that analyzes football looks like an idiot because <laughs> but no was, one knows he, fucking anything. I have never heard somebody so like viciously say a coach, and he was talking about Matt Nagy, mm -hmm. needs to be fired yesterday. Get him out. Justin Fields, the real deal. I mean, and he just looks terrible. Terrible, terrible. People terrible love about the Giants. People so love that shit. Yeah, but I'm not. I'm not on yeah, ESPN getting paid to ESPN, analyze my team. You would 100 say those things. No, I'd probably cool it down. Depends on the salary. Okay. Okay, snacks. Uh, I just would never take that job right, so to begin it's with. Pretty so. good for you, Nick. It's hard to tell because we don't know the full lineups, but. Uh, I'd say you have a pretty good shot this yeah, week. Yeah, I'd say you win that game. And then after that, it's all downhill for you. 100%. Wow. So, uh, snacks? No, no, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to tell you the game plan now. Mixon's going to go off against the Jets, okay. and I'm going to move him to somebody. Sell I'm, high, baby. I'm going to sell him very, as high as Steve. I can possibly get it, probably to Steve. I This is the first time in my life that I've ever been, like, hesitant to actually talk about, like, the way I feel about players now because it is being held against me. A should, uh, after when I tweeted about Joe Mixon and I was about to pull a deal with Steve and he's and then he commented on my tweet about Joe Mixon he took and he pulled the seat. plug. Yeah, that and like there's other things that I don't I haven't wanted to talk. Sometimes when we film on Tuesday, like today, reveal why you want to get rid of like a player or like what's something you don't like about a player you're trying to get rid of. What? I said you can't reveal Sorry. those things. Correct. But like I need to because that's like what you I know, do for work. You should let Mixon go off and then I don't know what you want or if you want something from Eric's team, but he needs a running back like. Like, I need a new liver. Yesterday. It's not a bad idea. All right, cool. Um, well, I'm going to be looking to move him, and then my team will be full fucking four stacked up like a fucking Pringles. Yada, yada, yada. Hang. I've Who do I play? Right, let's talk about your shit Snacks fucking matchup. Snacks matchup here. I play Brick. He's playing Eric. Uh, oh, by the way, <laughs> just to interject, uh, I started watching you season three. What do you think? It's, it's good. 
It's not bad, right? It's not bad. I, I finished the I whole finished thing. It, yeah. It's, all right. yeah, it's not bad at all. Yeah. So, it's, it's good. Okay, so I don't, don't want to like like. Well, you know. I mean, we had talked about it, and you guys yeah. were both like, "You should definitely I liked watch it." Yeah. It. Well, did yeah. you finish it? Yet? You're right. No, no, no. I didn't finish. Well, it. I, I didn't like it. Yeah, I didn't like it as finish. much as the first two seasons, but it's still very good. Yeah, let us know when you finish it. Uh, snacks. Match we'll, have up. Whole, we'll have a whole episode about, episode about it. Yeah, um, snacks matchup. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I in your in your QB one spot, not great. Nope. Uh, I mean, I think your only quarterback you're starting. It looks like. Well, we'll see. Yeah. There are some moves to be made. Eric Carr on by. Yes. Jameis Winston. Not, uh, There's no fucking way you can lose this matchup. Even with this is like the perfect. Game I got great for matchups. You. It's a perfect game for you because your team is ailing right now, but Eric's team is like on a whole nother planet. I mean, it, like he's going to be starting. Not great. I mean, he's got Kareem Hunt and Clyde both on the IR. Um, yeah. He's got Lamar Jackson on a bye, so he's got. I mean, he literally has to start Mark fucking Ingram and Devontae Booker. Maybe we're in a ten-team league. Uh, I mean, he would probably start Devonte Booker. I would start Devonte. I mean, if Barkley's out. Yeah, Book, yeah, of course. Booker over Bar. I didn't even see him down there, but yeah, like, I don't know. In a yeah. ten-team league, this should not be your starting line. You should win this week. Yeah, I should. This is another week. I should have won last good. week. Yeah, but here's my thing: Mike Evans isn't even going to replicate closely to what he's probably going to have two points. It's big game, then bad game. Yeah, I feel like Lattimore always gives him problems. He does. Yo, trade him to me. Maybe I will. All right. We'll talk after the show. All right, but I, I don't know. I still think it'll be fine. Like, I love Dalton Schultz. I think he's going to go for 15 at least. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I I love my tight ends. Yeah, no Fant and Schultz, that's, that's... I still feel weird about Fant. I don't. He's been good all year. Yeah. For the tight end position, it's like, yeah, you know, you get what you get. That's that's fine. I'll take that. You can't always get what you want. All right, so and I have like no, nothing on my bench. I could start. And I yeah. think Aaron Jones. That Thursday night game is going to be nuts. No, it's, I, I need. Let's I need make some Jones. predictions because this. Comes oh, because he's Friday, got Hopkins. So let's, let's sound like fucking assholes. Yeah, you got Aaron Jones. I think he gets two touchdowns minimum. <sighs> Aaron Jones versus D Hop. If Devonta Adams is out, he's yeah, hundred percent. Two touchdowns minimum. I'm going to bet it. Whatever it is, probably like plus uh, two seventy five or something. Kill me. No, I like that bet a lot. I feel like every time Adams is out, Aaron Jones just is like the entire red zone offense. Yeah. He's got to get more involved too. Like, what are they doing? Well, after last week too, they're gonna fucking they were just, they were juicing them up. Yeah, maybe charging them. They were because so. they knew they were on it there in a short week. They were they were saving them. Uh, but it cost me a fucking game. Cardinals, Thanks a lot, Matt. Let's win. The, 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 I no, I'm gonna say the Packers win. No, I can't say in that. Arizona. In Arizona, I know it is. Uh, I just realized that. I'm gonna take Green Bay. Cardinals are due. Yeah, I've been, for no th- actual, I've been thinking that for no actual logical reason. You know what I try to do? I try to envision like the post game press conference and like, can I imagine Aaron Rodgers being a sulky little bitch after losing to Arizona, or do I imagine like being like happy? And I gotta tell you, I love watching Rodgers play, but holy shit, is he just a fucking baby? I, I can't listen to him talk. Bothers me. Sounds like you, snacks. <laughs> Please. I'm not the best at what I do, though. I have to look at the I'm not even top I a million. Yet. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I wouldn't be surprised if the Packers win. I, 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 I might I even be bet them. Is there, what is the line? Was, was it five? I think I'm it's like six now. When the, the Adams news dropped, the, the line jumped like three points. I've never seen that for a yeah. wide receiver. It's crazy. Whoa. I think, um, well, he's like the whole offense. I think uh, yeah, but I still. might sprinkle on the Packers' money line if it's good odds. It's probably going to be like 220. Oh, I can, I can oh, bet you that huh? much. I think I have like 200 bucks on Barstool. Six points? It can't be that much. Six points? It can't be that much for the Packers, though. They still won't do it. Yeah, you're probably right. Well, they'll probably give you some shit odds, like plus 145 or some dumb shit. <laughs> for the money one? Really? Yeah, told you. What idiots. I'm going to bet that. Packers? Yeah. Why not? Sprinkle on the money line? I mean, uh, 51 points. You got to like that, no? Over under? Uh, Arizona's defense is actually kind of It is. It is good. good. Yeah. It is good. But I just think they're going to put up like 35 on their own. I could see this being an under game. I don't know why. All right. Primetime oh, wow. game's gone over this What's year. Oh, my match. Oh, I have buys. Okay. Yeah, plus 215. I think I'm going to take that. Uh, question. Well, I want to get to my matchup and end Oh, this. shit. That's right. Um, Nick Chubb, is he going to play? I think so, yeah. I've, I've heard that, but is it, it's not confirmed yet? From what I've heard. Because uh, that's basically... I, I don't the, think it's confirmed yet, but I think he should be fine. It's basically... Gonna make the difference on my team. I'm gonna try and pick someone up. Obviously, oh, well, that's a big matchup. You and Steve. huge. Yeah, it's very big. Huge. I'm not, I'm not feeling great about it just because. Nah, uh, his lineup looks pretty good. 
Yeah, I mean, I got to see what happens with Nick Chubb. Allen versus Miami. Swift versus Philly. Mitchell versus Chicago. Think about starting Goff over Darnold. Goff at Philly. At this point? Who? Where's Carolina Philly? plays who? Atlanta. But, like, Darnold's going to – he sucks. I don't think I could – I don't think I'd play Goff there. Why not? <laughs> Dude, it's fucking it's, Jared Goff. Yeah, I know, but Sam Jared Darnold, Goff and Darnold's playing Atlanta. Yeah. But Philadelphia has been – They've been shit on defense. They have been shit. Yeah, they're so not bad. a good pass, D. They just got rocked by the Raiders. Fuck, that Steve has embarrassment. Steve has Kelsey. He's not I gotta have Goff in there for now. Yeah, that's Darnold the killer about Steve's shit. lineup. It's like you're going down. It's like yeah. solid, solid, solid. And it's like even when you're waiting for the weak spot, it's like oh, Kelsey. yeah. Like my strength is probably tight ends, receivers, and actually, I mean, my Pittman looks really Cooper good. Cooper Ertz. Yeah, we'll see. Um, yeah, that's that's gonna be a good matchup. Yeah, big matchup. Actually, Thursday night is. Well, I think Steve's going to be there with us. So, uh, Ooh. so make sure you guys tune in to <laughs> Thursday night. <laughs> so you yesterday have, you have Rogers and that's it, right? Uh, I have Rogers going, and he has Ertz. Ertz, which yes. I, he might not even play. What? Who said? I'm just saying he might not play him. No, he's going to play, play Ertz. He's playing Ertz. I told him he has to. I guess well, that'd be a big swing if Chubb doesn't play and he gets to play Deion. Johnson. That'd be very bad. I think it would be worse. If but that. They but both, where is he going to? Pl- I guess over Mitchell. The problem is you take out over Cooper. Gonna play. I would play Goddard over Ertz. So would I. <laughs> that's that's what I'm saying. I, why would he? Does he have to play Ertz? Because he scored a touchdown last week. I mean, he's two two weeks in a row. <laughs> two weeks in a row. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I would definitely play Goddard. Yeah, should be a good one. Yeah, it's definitely a matchup of the week. Oh, actually, wait a minute. No. Yeah, it's matchup of the week. Lunch berries, Steen. He's definitely going to. Steen wins, and then he gets killed. Joe and Larry are both going to win. Shit. Animal, I'm I'm rooting for you. I know. Why? Because if I win and Steve loses, I jump Steve. Because Joe, uh, Joe, Artie, and Larry are definitely going to win. But then again, if you lose and I win, I could jump you, technically, if I score, if I outscore you. It's only nine points. Yeah. So actually, I don't give a fuck. I, I just need, have to. I'll worry big, about myself. I need a big point week. Worry what about I myself. Need. Yeah, I'd like one of those. Oh, shit. Fuck. I need a 180 fucking whopper. That's what I need, animal. I had, a nice, I had a nice 193 outlier. I think it was week two. It's gorgeous. It's nothing better than that. Oh. Because that, like, anchors your points. It really does. You, you can, like, you can. You can, like, have a, a down week or two. You have, like, a 200-point week, and you're just, like, leading the lead yeah, points for great. six weeks after that's that. That's great. Ah, right, so it should be a good week. Yeah, I'm excited. We're, we're, getting to, uh, we're getting to the turning point of the season. Look at, look at this matchup in the NYC league. The other dude, like, his entire oh, bench yeah. the other, his entire bench is on buys. <laughs> we only started, like, four players. Well, can we just bring up real quick that I, I won a dynasty matchup 54 to 49 this past week? Dude, that was amazing. That was ridiculous. I was cracking up when I saw that. So I, I, had, a, I had plenty of guys on my bench, and I tailgate the Giants games. I don't even check. I don't check my phone at all. I don't know what goes on during the games outside. I never check my fantasy lives, except ours. I'll always make sure that that's in. And I had like, <laughs> I was playing the worst team. He's zero six, and I was six and zero, and I won fifty four. You know, what? I'm gonna bring it up. That's the quick. best part was that you were six and zero, and he's zero and six. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's just it, the mat, It was so fucking funny. Imagine you lost because of that. That would When I mean, I, I, when I saw the message of snacks is gonna. Hey, us three are in the playoff hunt for that league. Yeah. Wow, Mike Please. turned his fucking team around. Is that what it do? Yeah. Yeah, so wait, hold on. Fifth, fifth, I'm sorry, 54-41. Oh, so I beat the shit out of I forgot to set my lineup a couple times in that league. I had I one, one I two, left, like, three. Fucking, f- I've, someone on the IR. Whoa, I had five. Scott's, Scott's, lineup. Team, <laughs> Scott's team good now? I had five players playing. and he, Everyone that was tanking last year. Okay, we got to do something. But get him out of this league. Who? Pierce. Sorry. Why would he do? Good guy. I mean, it's, it didn't even put anybody in. At least I had guys in that they were just on by. Well, no, this is this is <laughs> the league where Tom, ever, Todd Gurley in his lineup. This, <laughs> this is the league. Well, that was when Pierce. Do you remember when we Philip dra- Dorsett? Come on, you remember when we drafted this? This was the league I believe that Pierce just traded up all of his like oh, that's his right. picks for all that's his first right. round yeah, picks. Yeah, yeah. Like in a year, he's not going to have a team. And yeah. sure enough, look. And then we all. This was also the league where I think you couldn't. I don't Brett, think Brett Scott and 
and uh, Mike all <coughs> yeah, but Mike, tanked year one. Yeah, Mike's yeah. Mike team is great. Fine. Scott's team is good, and Brett's, Brett, Brett's still t- tanking. Yeah. Yeah. Brett's just trading all his picks every year. He gets two <laughs> picks and then trades them. Yeah. All right, but I don't even know if you could find somebody to buy Pierce's team. Um, dude, I could find it. Someone yeah. to buy any. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I put out some it's shitty that, teams it's, out there. It's that yeah. bad. Yeah. Oh, he's got no a lot one, of first round picks no now. I'll buy it in a second. He's got three first, two seconds. All right, you never know. And I'll fucking sell my team to undercut. Is Gronk price. playing this week? I don't think so. Really? He's out again? I have no idea. Did you guys see? Um, <laughs> really? <He's out> <laughs> before we end, uh, the, the Manning cast last night. Incredible. Uh, Marshawn when, Lynch. When, well, yeah, Marshawn Lynch was amazing, but when Tom Brady was on and uh, Eli asked him about like. Gronk's uh, film studying methods, and he's like, mm-hmm. Gronk doesn't study film. He no, just asks Tom for like what, what I should do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and Tom. Tom goes, just get open yeah. and run past I people, love that <laughs> bro. Yeah, Gronk, okay, Tom. The, the Manning cast is like good because of the guests. Oh yeah, but like the setup of that terrible. It's like it, it's the content cycle of. Actually, I was thinking about this. This is like a more interesting conversation to have of how it's like it, it's similar to us FTP Early stage. when we're not live. And we're talking over each other, and then you eventually are like, "Oh, we should get them in a studio together to do it." And then all of a sudden, they're just NFL Network or ESPN or CBS, yeah. just with the Mannings. You know, it's like, a, it's what's eventually going to happen? Yeah, they're going to want to do it. In and studio. I know, and I'm, I swear, I'm they not. They should do it like a living room set. Like, well, I, but Peyton lives in like Tennessee, and Eli yeah. lives in New Jersey. Peyton lives ne- in fucking Colorado. Okay, whatever. Uh, Either way, I don't. Bronco. The, the problem whatever. is that the guests are not. The guests are the coolest part, but they're never going to be able to get all those guys. No, yeah, exactly. Place. And I'm not just saying. Not during the season. I'm not though. just saying this because obviously I love Eli. Peyton's a bad host, and he, oh, he talks. Oh, yeah. He talks over his. He guests just needs a lot more time. practice. Yes. 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 Like needs. the content itself is hysterical, and what comes out of their mouths and what they're talking I about. Think it, and the X's and O's when they talk is great, but he is not a good host. He would be a lot better, I think, if it was an in-person studio. I'm 100%. sure, yeah. He'd be definitely way, be right. like, much see, better. Because then you, you have that, always have that weird, like, lag of time. Yeah, where, yeah, like, there's the well, delay. I start talking at the same time. I mean, I think we can all relate to that. Like, we've yeah. all been on guest pods or Absolutely. had people come on our shit, and it's like, you, you a piece of your, like, personality kind of gets wiped out if you can't, like, bring your wits yeah. to the table, you Especially know? you got a guy like Peyton Manning who's so knowledgeable and knows so much shit about the game. Probably has so and, many and he's stories. a funny, witty dude. I'm that just going to say, off and anything. he's organically yeah. hysterical. Yeah. yeah. It's, so. so he plays off people that are, like, there with you, so the yeah. energy levels are a little bit weird. And he it. just, it's it, one, my biggest pet peeve is, like, he doesn't really let the guests finish before he, like, tries to jump in, yeah. and then it's, well, that's like, that's the problem with off. his personality is, like, yeah. it, that would work so well in person. Yeah. yeah. The, the problem is, like, how does the NFL, how can, how can ESPN not figure that out? Like, the, 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 figure out the latency. This it can't be that like fucking test, hard. I think, for them. Yeah. They're, it, like, slow. It is good. But now they're seeing, like, this is this is what we're going to be seeing from, like, I mean, this is what we've already seen from individual content creators. Like, I think at Barcelona, they do yeah, shit like this all the time. A, you get Hall of Fame football players to do it, and now it's a fucking... Well, now, yeah, there's, now they're seeing ESPN and the big broadcast networks are being like, oh, we don't always have to do it, like, by the book. We can do something cool, and it could work, you know? They just I, literally did a living room setting, like a fucking fake yeah. set. Like what we do, yeah. With, like, a big couch, and it's just, like... Peyton Manning and Eli Manning and, like, a guest, like, they rotate a couple in, like, every quarter, like, one guest a quarter. And it's just, like, him sitting on the couch with Drew Brees. Or imagine, like, yeah. Peyton, and the problem is, like, it's ESPN, so it'll never be that great. Because imagine, like, if it's on, like, a bar yeah. stool or something. Oh, like, my gosh. You'd have, like, Marshall Lynch in there, like, trying to light up blunt. And, like, Peyton's like, nah, I'm good. And, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like the, the conversation was so and the funny, random Marshall shit that could Lynch. happen. Marshawn was out of control. Hyster- when he said, oh, what the fuck? I lost it <laughs> yeah. the last play. You, well, I watch, I so watch it solely on... The Manning broadcast, though. I I don't think, like... I su- I've switched after a while that it kind of bugs me out of them talking over each other. So just to, like, take a breath, I'll switch over to the other yeah. broadcast. Also, I do think it takes away from the game. I find myself The not, game experience. I find I myself it. not paying you attention you to the game, like, at all. But in yeah. a game like that, I love it because yeah. that game is so fucking was so bad. bad and, yeah. like... And you also like perfect. I also like hearing the crowd and the officials exactly. and stuff so like that. So there is part I, I of the, there is part of like the perfect broadcast. I think that, the fourth that quarter you, do, you like, go back to the game, but like the first three. Well, it also yeah. did, uh, if it's guest dependent. Game. Like Drew Brees sucked last night. I thought Sue Bird was better than Drew Brees. I missed her. She's bad. Yeah, Sue Bird's bad. I only saw uh, Marshawn, Tom Brady, Drew. I mean, d- Tom, yeah. Eli, and Peyton. Their actual football conversation. Yeah, was just Tom like Tom sim- incredible. Tom is just like Dude, he simplifies stuff so nicely. What he was talking about is like I just look at it like you know if they're if they're lined up like here yeah. uh, short we go long. If they're lined up long, and, we go, and he's also he's just like left we go like, right. What do you do it's to stop? Like, what do you do to stop your offense? He's like man, I love when they do just one on one man coverage against Chris Godwin and Mike Evans. Yeah, like, you can't just stop flat that. out saying like, yeah. yeah, yeah. That, and then you ask Drew Brees. He go Peyton's like all right, Drew. What, what do you think Sean's got up here? He goes uh, I I don't know. 
<laughs> you can't just say something. Oh, uh, I, I don't know. He's being honest. And then Peyton goes, oh, well, saved by the two-minute warning. Thanks, Drew. Yeah. <laughs> so, wait, that's low-key the funniest part about the broadcast is uh, they don't when know they when have to, to usher off the guest. <laughs> uh -huh. When it'll be like, hey, what do you think? about? Okay, it was really yeah. nice to fucking see you, Tom. Get off the screen now. Yeah. <laughs> like, it comes out of fucking nowhere. Oh, and those fucking Gronk commercials, bro. Yeah, yeah they're nauseous. Fucking... He seems like it sounds so stupid. The USAA commercials. Money, baby. They're so yeah, bad. I think Gronk has plenty of that. They're the so worst you, fucking things always, I've ever seen. You always get more. It's kind of how they think at that Rock, point. Rock, we that. want you to go on camera and completely act as moronic as possible. Okay. That's what I'm saying. It's like, yeah. it's, it's like they act it. It's they embarrassing. And we're going to give you like, like $500,000. Yeah. And he's like, oh, okay. It's like, just imagine how people view you and act dumber than that. Yeah, like exactly. That, like, it's like a caricature of him fucking Yeah, I, and I think that's just moronic on his end. But yeah. what do I know? Yeah, he looks stupid. He does. So. He looks really stupid. I, I don't even laugh. It's not funny at all. No. Yeah, it's cringy. It's wow. It's hysterically funny when he's in an interview or doing something that's off script and he's just a complete dumbass. Yeah. When he's in front of the camera doing a commercial that's completely scripted to be make him look stupider than he is, I think it's moronic. Yeah. So you heard it here first. Uh, Sorry, Gronk. Gronk commercial. Not big dog approved. No. Wow. Canceled. Um, Canceled. All right, Snacks, you want to... Yeah, um, great stuff today, boys. Thanks for watching, as always, everybody. Really appreciate you. Um, hope you enjoyed the live stream last night. Uh, we will see you next week. And don't forget, Sunday morning, Bagels and Locks, 6-0 and last week combined. 6-0 and this week. Last week, this week, whatever you want to call it. We're on fire. Fire. Hit our fire. underdog picks. We didn't underdog We didn't give out one oh, losing pick. Also, I know we always wait to the end of the show to plug shit, but the Sunday morning underdog show. Guys. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's it. Guys, I hit another underdog outright pick. I went. I chose the Bengals this week to win money line, and they did. I'm 5-2 and two on the season. That's five a good money. Two. That's really good. It's really good. It's fantastic, it's like yeah. Plus, they're all like plus 130 to plus 200. Beautiful. Crazy odds. See you right. next week. Two weeks in a row I called in for you. Yeah, you did. I this gave one was some, a hangover. I one, dropped yeah. some fucking knowledge. On oh, me. maybe I'll do that this week because I won't be at the game. You did drop some fucking knowledge on me. Yeah, come call. Yeah, yeah, maybe I'll. Right, you were the only fucking person that would ever think of that. What used to mean.